The third principle is about creating visually appealing displays. And once we talk about visually appealing displays, it is about presenting in a way that the customer should be attractive from your displays only. Even though he has not intent to buy this product, but your appeal of the presentation should convince him to buy this product. So the creating visually appealing displays has two aspects. The first, presenting the product as per the product category. So if you present the product as per the product category, for example, we have an example of tomatoes here in front of you. So you have one category, second category and third category. So first category is about the peeled tomatoes. The second category is about the chopped tomatoes and the third category is about the puree. So again, the product categories are properly defined. This will really help him, help the customer to identify whatsoever he is looking for. Uh, he will see the product category and then he will buy that particular product category. Also in this display, if you will see, so packaging is from the smallest to the largest. Also the labels are displayed on front. So you can see this label. So labels are very much there displayed on the product. So the most power, the, the more presentation principles, the key main principle in this part was is turning article label to the front and the product should be displayed as presented as per the product categories. So all product categories has to be separately presented in a very uh, structured way. For example, if it is about the tea, then maybe you have the tea, which is black tea. Maybe you have the tea, which is green tea. And maybe you have the tea, which is the flavor tea. So again, three product categories has to be separately presented. As an example here, it is mentioned for tomatoes. Second, once you talk about creating the visually appealing displays, it is about the color or you need to present vertically by color and horizontally by size or by article. So it is very much clear guideline how you have to present. So it, if it is about the vertical presentation, then it is about the color, which means from top to bottom, it has to be the same color. And if you talk about horizontally, then it is about you have to present by size or by uh, article. So the basic principle is that you have to use proper equipment. For example, these plates cannot be displayed on racks. These plates cannot be displayed on uh, gondolas. These plates cannot be displayed on the pallets. So there are proper racks for this product category. So you need to use appropriate equipment and your displayed, displays should be attractive. For example, if the products are displayed by color, it is easily, you know, it is attract, creating attraction for the customer. And of course, it gives life to the store also because the more colorful the presentation is, the more life the store will get. And of course, it will turn the customers into a buying customer. The fourth basic principle was about the mass merchandising. So the focus of the retailer should be on mass merchandising. So mass merchandising is about presenting the products following the bulk principle. So massive presentation of one article, first of all, for example, this is an example where you have displayed on the chest freezer massively one article. This is one way of presenting the articles in a massification way. And second is the shelf ready packaging. So you have the products available on the shelf, which is the shelf ready uh, packaging, which is open available. And then you can easily buy this product by one article also. So what you have to do, you have to use again proper equipment for it. it. The presentation has to be easily handled because normally once you do mass merchandising, the handling of the products should not be challenged for the customer. And then do not present articles too high. For example, if the mass merchandising is done for the microwave ovens and then the height of these secondary displays or the gondola is seven feet or eight feet, then of course, the customer will not be able to pick the product. Even he likes the display, the display is massive, but the presentation is too high that it is creating problem for the customer to buy this product or this particular category. So the presentation should be massive. The presentation should show a bulk image, but ultimately it should be accessible to the customer. It should be easily handled by the customer so that you can turn really a customer into a buying customer. The next principle was about ensure 
easily handling. So your presentation of the product should be in a way that the customer can easily handle them. So what should be the principles you have to take into consideration? You need to create powerful presentation. The mass merchandising will really help and the displays should be attractive enough, visually attractive enough that the customer should buy it. If you see an example here of the fruits and vegetable department and you have seen these fresh uh, apples on the display. So again, uh, considering handling of this uh, principle, handling principle into consideration, you will see it is very easy to buy to pick these apple because their handling is very easy. You can easily go and pick yourself, choose yourself, and then you can take this product to your shelf. So normally for the retailer, once you plan to display any product, the handling should not be challenged for the customer. The easy handling will be, will translate into more buying and the more buying will be translate into the high turnovers. And of course, high turnovers will translate into the high profitability for the retailer.